Zilliqa has got the potential to do more than 100x and this cryptocurrency is going to be a game changer for a lot of people. I know a lot of you out there really want to find good investment opportunities and uh, Zilliqa is one of those projects that can actually do very, very well. Look at the market cap of Zilliqa. It's only 174 million US dollars and the price is only it's less than two cents which is very very minimal in comparison to its biggest competitor. Zilliqa is obviously way better than Ethereum and uh, if we take a look at the market cap of Ethereum right it's about 26 billion US dollars. Ladies and gentlemen I want you to grab your calculators do the math Okay, if Zilliqa is better than Ethereum, which I'm going to prove because obviously uh, it has got better technology in terms of, uh, you know, the sharding capabilities in comparison to Ethereum. And Ethereum is trying to get into, uh, you know, scalability solutions. Therefore, it is going to be transitioning from proof of work to proof of stake. And uh, one of the key roles is obviously going to be played by the sharding capabilities of Ethereum. Zilka does a better job at sharding and I'm going to prove that a little bit later. So let me take you back to the market cap and uh, the potential that Zilka has in terms of it being propelled by a factor of about 151x, okay? So stay with me. 26 billion US dollars divided by the current market cap of uh, Zilliqa, which is about 174 uh, million US dollars, right? You are getting a rough value of uh, 151x. And if you really consider that, right, that's a huge return on investment if Zilliqa grows uh, to the level where Ethereum currently is at this particular moment. And we are not even in an out season. We haven't even started um, a cryptocurrency bull run, okay? So that can actually be very lucrative for people who are going to be doing the, the most appropriate thing, which is going to be dollar cost averaging, okay? So this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial. I'm not trying to entice you to do anything. I'm just telling you about the potential that we might possibly face in terms of getting the money and the profits that we really want because we want to get out of poverty. You know, we, we are stuck with being broke. So we have to look for ways to multiply our money. And this is going to be long term. I'm not saying this is going to happen like in the next year. This might be uh, in the next three, four, five years. So you have to be extremely patient and make sure that you understand what you are getting into because these things are a little bit tricky. Now, a lot of you might be saying, okay, stop talking. Let's talk about the real issues. There was a very important discussion and uh, you guys need to read these things because these are important matters that you are supposed to be looking at. So now let's talk about Zilliqa versus Ethereum version 2. So Ethereum version 2 is going to uh, start uh, in July. I think that's when they're going to be switching from the proof of work to the proof of stake. So bear in mind that this is not really going to be the smoothest transition because a lot of things can happen. Ethereum network might get attacked. Uh, people who are jealous of Ethereum might want to ruin the party. So, uh, you know, switching from proof of work to proof of stake might be, you know, like a terrible idea and, and it might be very chaotic. So please don't really, uh, just assume that everything is going to be going on smoothly because in the past, Ethereum has been hacked before. Okay. If you take a look at this, right? Uh, way back when there was the DAO hack and about 60 million us dollars worth of ether was stolen and hacked so they had to like sort of uh, fork the ethereum blockchain and all that stuff so just you know give this whole situation a benefit of the doubt until it happens until it is proven to be more efficient to work properly and just be reliable okay so now let's take a look at this amazing information right over here 
Zilliqa does what is called the network or the transaction sharding. So the biggest difference between the Zilliqa and Ethereum debacle is going to be the transaction sharding because this allows Zilliqa to sort of linearly do its thing. Imagine a sample network of about 1,000 nodes. Zilliqa will automatically divide the network into 10 shards each with about 100 nodes. Each shard can now process transactions in parallel. If each shard is capable of processing 100 transactions per second, then all shards come together to process about 1,000 transactions per second. The ability to process transaction in parallel due to the sharded architecture ensures that the throughput in Zilliqa increases roughly linearly with the size of the network. So the biggest difference between Zilliqa and Ethereum right now is the difference in the architecture when it comes to sharding okay zilliqa is going to be is rather using transaction sharding while ethereum is researching state sharding state sharding is how to divide the blockchain state so that the storage does not become an issue in the long run zilliqa does not do state sharding in its current immediate plan running smart contracts on a sharded network without state sharding is always a very big challenge phase one of ethereum 2.0 which is a work in progress is a loosely coupled sidechain like solution attached to the main ethereum chain via a validator manager contract vmc's sits on the main ethereum chain and maintains the sharding system in other words it is responsible for key tasks such as adding a new validator assigning a new validator for a shard etc phase one of ethereum 2.0 is a simple solution that does not solve all sharding related issues these are the issues that ethereum 2.0 is going to be facing during its phase one stage especially when it comes to sharding and all that good stuff number one single point of failure it appears that the vmc may become a bottleneck and a single point of failure as key steps of the protocol need to pass through vmc any bug with VMC can bring the entire system down. Zilliqa does not have any central entity or contract on which the entire system relies. Number two, finality. Each shard is going to be using a POS based consensus protocol with the longest chain rule as the fork resolution mechanism. As a result, Ethereum 2.0 phase one does not provide finality to the system state. Zilliqa on the other hand will provide finality to the state through PBFT protocol. Number three, Throughput. It is claimed that phase one will increase the throughput by around 100x. This part is very important. And the final problem that Ethereum 2.0 might face during phase one is obviously going to be the cross shard communication it appears that phase one of the sharding proposal will not allow cross shard communication this simply means that a smart contract residing in one shard and that needs to call another smart contract residing in another shard may not run because there's going to be a lack of communication cross shard communication is one of the biggest challenges when one needs to run a turing complete language on a sharded architecture the project does have plans to use UTXO type model through receipts to handle cross shard communication, but that does not seem to be within the scope of phase one of Ethereum 2.0. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard everything you have seen for yourselves, and I am so anxious to see what is going to be happening with Ethereum 2.0, uh, especially during the phase one and uh, the second phase of this development. However, I just want to point out that this thing might go wrong or it might be extremely successful so we just have to you know have like other options as well and obviously finding undervalued cryptocurrencies such as zilliqa that are providing better mechanisms better technology doing things efficiently is obviously going to be a very rewarding deed uh for us especially in the long run so this is one of the reasons why we just have to keep our eyes open and find out what is happening behind the veil of you know all the hype because by the end of the day it's all about providing efficient and reliable technology in terms of your protocol and whatever business model you are trying to you know help solve so obviously 
scaling is a very important factor and uh, you know not all sharding is created equal okay so please don't fall for the hype you have to understand what is happening like behind the code what really makes this thing better than the other so uh that's just all i wanted to tell you and uh i i really want to hear your opinion and uh, your thoughts in the comment section below right obviously it's not just about the price it's not just about uh, you know the amount of wealth that we might potentially be able to generate but we have to be supporting projects that are providing better technology so anyway a lot of you might be saying okay zilica hasn't been proven it hasn't been stressed it hasn't been proven or tested especially when people are flocking to it so we don't really know whether it can really withstand all that pressure so this is one of the reasons why we might even be disapp disappointed with zilica so zilica might have a lot of flaws as well i'm not saying it's like the perfect cryptocurrency it might have its flaws as well and uh, only time will tell but for now you know we are keeping a close eye so 150x is possible with current statistics of course uh when the bull run is going to be full-fledged right obviously the prices are going to be even way sweeter this can literally be a thousand x this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor do your own diligence do your own due diligence and all that good stuff so it's been muna aka beyond 10x we are going to go to the moon together i really want you to hit the subscribe button right now share this video post it on all your social media because you need to get people to go with you to the moon because you just can't be rich alone like what's the purpose of being rich alone we have to be on the yacht you know sipping on pina coladas together so yeah this is one of the reasons why we have to grow the 10x family the beyond 10x family smash the like button we need about 300 likes in this video because i mean i'm putting in work guys i am definitely putting in work so it's been good seeing your lovely faces even though i can't really see you right now i know you are having so much fun god bless you be good and i'm going to be back with another with another brand new video tomorrow so yeah take care it's been your boy mona peace